talking to Eric Vent, Olympic gold medalist. Yeah. Wow. Did you bring, <laughs> did you bring your uh, real money, your sound money, with you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Finally, I actually have something that's worth something. It feels good. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so you didn't bring it with you? I actually did. It's back there. Uh, it's back in my my bag. Um, I was just going to show it to whoever wanted to see it, but I, I felt uncomfortable I wearing wearing it up on stage. Oh, come on. <laughs> Um, so, how was China? It was amazing. The people, the people really were super nice, um, but it's such a weird contrast because some levels they have really huge amount of individual freedom mm -hmm. in small things. Like they don't have the public ordinances like we have, jaywalking or taxi cabs. Talk about a frightening ride, getting a taxi in Beijing because those guys will, will take you for a pretty wild ride. Uh, and they'll just do whatever they want, get in an accident and just keep on going. So stuff like that, you think, wow, they just they run they run amok, they run free. But then, if you look closely, you can see mics in the cab. And if you look closely into the society, you realize there's a lot more there, and it's scary. And coming back was was really refreshing. But to see something in the horizon that could be possible like that here is even scarier. Yeah. Um. So you're teammates with Michael Phelps. Yeah. Any any luck in getting him over to our cause? You know, he's, he's not into politics whatsoever, but he is a big online poker guy. And ah. I've, been, I've trained with Michael for the past two years, so I told him, you know, look, hey, Ron Paul is for online, legalizing online gambling. So as soon as I told him that, he said he's a Ron Paul guy. So <laughs> for all the fans out there, Michael Phelps is a Ron Paul guy. <laughs> well, we, we like self-interest. Self-interest works. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I hear that you fit us in at the last minute, so thank you very much for that. Yeah, no, I was, um, I was in vacation in Hawaii, and we were leaving that, that day, and I got that phone call, so I was, like I said up there, I was kind of shocked that they wanted me to talk, but I, I wanted to jump on the opportunity. I was such, it really was an honor. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, the only time I've ever talked in front of people has been, you know, very small, comparatively speaking, you know, uh -huh. maybe 500 people, but it's all swimmers and their parents and coaches. So I was a little bit out of my comfort zone. I've never actually talked to a big group of people about politics, <laughs> so, but it was fun. The crowd was really good. They were nice. They were supportive. And, uh, uh, very lively, so it's cool. Well, thanks for joining us, yeah. and you've got to go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is an Olympic gold medal from Beijing. You you won this. How did you get this? 800 freestyle relay. And how how close was second place? I'm curious. Uh, I think it was like five seconds. Five it's seconds? Well, that's yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> I, I have never held one of these. This is amazing. All right, take it out. Take it out for me. This is a true Ron Paul fan. He likes gold so much, he went all the way to Beijing to get some. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. Can we see the other side? Yeah, the other side's Jade. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Take it out if you want. Do you want it out or? Yeah, it's it's your thing. I don't want to put it. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. <laughs> that is tremendous. It's heavy. <laughs> it's got great weight to it. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Stop torturing me.